so. Anything, anything. I'm up for anything. I don't mind wussing out from time to time. All right, everyone, welcome to uh, another exciting, action packed, fun filled, theatrical <laughs> episode of Helimoto. Right now we are down at the bottom of uh, a place called Warner Valley, Utah. Beautiful area. Um, last time I was there on a motorcycle though, I kind of knocked myself out a little bit. <laughs> really great pain. Not. Not the greatest experience I've ever had in my life. where I did it. Right there. That was fun. Thelma and Louise for dirt bikers. Was that? It's a Thelma and Louise for dirt bikers. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Graham Jarvis could do it. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Castor oil smells so good. All right, so the uh, front suspension on this KTM 350XCF never ceases to amaze me. As you saw, I just kind of popped over that uh, little sheer rock face for the most part without too much of a problem. I was in first gear. That really was the only issue. Um, because it made me kind of slip when I got to the top of that rock. I don't get that stuff at all, frankly, but that's me. It's, it's pretty cool, you know, off-roading the Jeeps and all that, but I don't know, I just, I'd rather have a motorcycle <laughs> doing that, frankly. Yeah, right there on the left, huh? That's not horrible. 
coordinate. Here we go. All right. Easy peasy. Yeah, I don't mind wussing out from time to time. Uh, my left shoulder was really, really jacked up two years ago. So I do not mind at all wussing out from time to time for safety's sake. <laughs> I'm sure my my wife would agree with that. That's the actual trail right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either way. Fuck! <laughs> so it turns out that I'm not Graham Jarvis. Yeah, that's the way to go. Jeez, man, there's some vertical crap going on around hell. So, if you ever want to test your uh, Graham Jarvising skills here in uh, southern Utah, I highly recommend the uh, Sand Hollow rock area thing. It is tough. Definitely a challenge. That was fun. Yeah, that's a whole lot of no. All right, getting back on the trail. Holy crap. Wow. So yeah, Lloyd just climbed that. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome for Lloyd. Oh no. <laughs> nice. Lloyd is a really good rider. I am not as good a rider as Lloyd. As it turns out. Boop, boop, boop. I'm really good at riding that it just involves suffering a little bit. You know? It's called the playground or playground. I don't know. Wow. Lloyd is a crazy man. 
I'm not going to do all that stuff. Okay, I, uh, two years ago, if you recall, I got a shoulder surgery, my left shoulder. Ever since then, I will admit to being a wee bit more timid when it comes to uh, possibly crashing. That might be him echoing. Yeah. Where he went? No idea. You hear him? I heard something. Airplane? I can't no, a dirt bike. From, he's bouncing off the rocks and crap. Yeah, it was a dirt bike over there. Up a little higher, maybe. Yep. I think you're right. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Try to. I need better. Check this. No. My bolt's missing. Oh, no. That sucks. I've got some spare bolts in my pack. Okay, well, let's go try to find uh, Mr. Man and then. There he is. Yeah, that might help if it works. What happened? I lost a seat bolt. Oh, Deep diver. Lost that bolt right there. Note to self. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna look to see if I. I might actually have a. I usually have a bag of bolts, but I took everything out to go race. Cause heaven knows you won't need anything racing. Sweet. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere now. Famous last words. Right? It should be fine. There we go. Shoot, man, that actually looks like a race. I did that on purpose. Is that right? These are just for traction in my butt. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, sir. All the way back. You guys have to do. Oh, to Warner. Yeah, to Warner. Oh. It dropped you off at Warner. Huh. Yeah, he'd probably dig that. Oh yeah. So anything, anything. I'm up for anything. Oh. So yeah, if you like technical riding of all types, whether it be sand or, well, except for trees, <laughs> not many trees here, but uh, if you like sand and hard pack and slick rock, you will love Sand Hollow. This place is amazing. I think the race actually came through here last weekend. You know, all this was closed down. You couldn't come here at all because the Rhino Rally was coming through and they didn't want any cross traffic. Probably a wise idea, I think. All right, so really the first, first little gremlin to raise its head regarding the uh, 350 here is done so and that is 
really just uh, power in the sand. It's a little obviously down on power compared to a 450 or a 300 two stroke. Probably even a 250 two stroke, really. That's cool. I don't ride sand all the time or anything, so that's fine. There's Lloyd being Lloyd. So the, uh, the race actually came through here on Saturday. This was a race course. Can you believe that? How cool is that? That is really neat. Very, uh, you know, <laughs> varied terrain, to say the least. what handguards are for. <laughs> power! Mighty power! out on something that actually would have been easy. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. I normally sit down on sandy turns, but uh, today I'm trying to stand up the bulk of the time just to practice for racing. So. Red Blues. Probably telling us we need to have flags. Thank you. Thank you guys. I'm gonna try really hard not to run into this side by side. <laughs> the cliffs of insanity boys and girls oh all right camera's still on yeah so not a giant fan of the uh, 350 in the sand right now it's really soft really loose so forth um, the uh, sheriff's de deputy in the side-by-side -side there told us we need to have 
you know, whips on our bikes. So if you come here, be advised, you need to have a uh, a whip on your on your motorcycle, even if it is next to impossible to keep a whip on your motorcycle. <gasps> Nonetheless, obey the law. That's always the preferred thing. So we're gonna go down a, uh, a hill, a thing they're calling the Cliffs of Insanity. I've never been there before. Sounds pretty scary. <laughs> I, uh, I will admit that uh, ever since that crash um, and the subsequent uh, surgery, which was necessary anyway, um, I've definitely been more timid in my riding. That is a fact. That's some really soft sand. All right, we're gonna get our weight a little bit further back. Whatever you do, when you're in sand, do not chop the throttle on a four stroke because all that momentum is gonna be translated into the forward diving movement which is not a good thing in sand at all. So again, I think this actually right here was part of the uh, Rhino Rally race course. Kind of recognizing it from uh, my buddy Craig's uh, Cal Orca on YouTube, Cal Orca, spelled with a K and an A and an Orca. You would not want to be on a 125 or a 250F right there. So it's interesting, so the uh, suspension on this bike, really quite soft for pounding through sand loops, um, but works fantastic in the rocks. So, yeah, it's a tough call. Now up in Cedar though, we live in non-stop rock land, um, so we're gonna definitely, they just leave the uh, suspension pretty, pretty much where it's at. Um, maybe for racing, go a little higher on the compression. I'm really gonna have to edit this to make myself look cool, cause I'm not looking cool today. <laughs> Man, with that uh, TX300 up there, two-stroke, burning that bean oil, good old castor oil. I feel like I'm racing back in the day, man. Of course, this would be a CR500, because <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. And uh, I like that CR500. So again, Ralph said that we're going to a place called the Cliffs of Insanity. A lot of you guys are like, ah, that's nothing. They're not that insane. I don't know, I've never been there. So to be frank, I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie to you. Whacking on cliffs. Oh, I like the sound of that. Come on. All right. Bushwhacking by the cliffs. <laughs> Focus on the beauty, not the fear. <laughs> Decent rider. Oh, some cairns. Holy crap! Oh 
this is technically the cliff of his death. Yeah, this is it. Feel free, man. I'll film you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, you don't want to go that way. Bike. I want to come in here. for my back break. I got it. I got it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. There we go. I got you. There we go. <laughs> Just like a mountain bike. Just like a mountain bike. I need a bigger uh, rear brake pedal. Oh, good. Well, let's go find some more stuff out here. I know to you guys on YouTube, you're like, oh man, that's not steep at all, man. I don't know what you guys are worried about. Trust me when I tell you. This is pretty steep. <sighs> you like uh, tubeless? You like your tubeless? Are they? Yeah. Nice. Wow. See, the bummer thing is when I do anything scary, I was talking to YouTube, I, whenever I do something scary, I cuss, so I can't use it on, <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> Just turn off the... <sighs> I rode down that. That was actually easier than bulldogging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, KTM decided to put a very small rear brake pedal on this thing. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. That rear brake is highly questionable. Uh, we just came down that, you guys. I'll admit to being scared. <laughs> that was pretty epic, though. You know, it's interesting. I've never, never really been good at using my rear brake. Uh, while standing. Odd, right? Oh, man. That was pretty frightening. <laughs> I'm stoked, though. I'm stoked I did it. I don't know that I ever want to do that again. <laughs> 
pretty neat. It's cool to be able to connect that, uh, connect this loop up though, to be really honest. That's pretty epic. This rear brake pedal is so small. It is so small. Get tucked in. I really hate it. It almost uh, it almost led me crashing on that freaking cliff side. That's kind of bad. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the truck. times boys sweet well that'll all be on my YouTube channel in a week probably mine too see you Ralph that was awesome man thank you for the invite that yeah, was epic all right everybody thank you for uh, coming along on that ride down the cliffs of insanity across the dunes of pain in the ass and uh, through the slick rock of sadness. Just kidding. That was pretty fun. The uh, 350 definitely showed some weakness there in the sand. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Probably both. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Regardless, grateful to Ralph for taking us down there. And uh, it's an epic ride. It's good to meet Lloyd. Good to meet Ryan. And um, Lloyd of the North. Anyhow, so thanks for coming along, and I hope you guys have a great day. These are just for traction in my butt.